Yeah, we've done about a billion dollars worth of development in uh, uh, Eastern Europe. Uh, this is a shopping center uh, and other scheme. This is an office scheme. There's a European Union uh, tenant in this building. Uh, I'm going to go through these very quickly, guys. Uh, so this is um, a, a big office scheme. Again, on, on you'll see it here. We've got uh, this building and this building. Very complicated. Uh, those who are engineers, you'll see we built it over a metro or what do you call it here? Uh, Subway. Subway here. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so it was a very complicated scheme, this one. Uh, this one is an old bank building, well, a huge bank building, which I bought. Uh, we converted it into a shopping center with some office space on the top. We won many awards. This is a big shopping center we did. Uh, this is a hotel scheme. Uh, sorry, this is an office scheme, and I got the hotel scheme. This is the hotel scheme. So we've done hotels as well. Um, so that's just a few of the projects, and we've got quite a few other schemes that we're working in in Prague. This is Karen Hills. They've already got uh, people living there. It's 64 acres in Karen Hills. Uh, we are selling plots, and we're also selling houses. We just now got the first design for our first houses. That's the, the plot of land. Um, this is the kind of house we're building. So these are top end, very high quality, 6,000 square feet on one acre. We have very strict rules. You can only build one house on the plot. You can only go two floors. So it maintains the value of your, your property. So as you can see here, we've got all the facilities on the land already. 88 Nairobi is in Upper Hill. Those who know where Fairview Hotel is, this is Fairview Hotel there, if you can see my cursor. Um, and uh, we're just down the road from uh, Fairview. Uh, Upper Hill, of course, is fantastic because it has a still a lot of business up there. You've got the World Bank, you've got a lot of other embassies and other top companies. Morgan Stanley just moved into there. We've, uh, there's no high-end residential in that location. So unlike Westlands or uh, Kalashua or places like that where it's a little bit of oversupply, here there is zero supply. So it's, uh, you can uh, generate very high returns on your investments. So we even have a helicopter on the top. So there will be a helicopter base on the top. Um, the top floors are penthouses, each with their own swimming pool. So each penthouse has its own swimming pool. Uh, the views are phenomenal. If you, anyone who's been up in New York, you will know that once you get up to 40 floors, especially if there's no other building as high as you, the views are phenomenal. Uh, looking across uh, Nairobi. I won't go through all the details because we have brochures at the back. You can go through the, through the details yourself. Um, we are doing it to UN standards of security, so it's high-end level security. Uh, fire standards are to British standards and European standards, so that it's extremely fire, fire safe. What I wanted to do is to go through this. Um, here are some of the uh, images. Um, we have a, one of the big things I want to explain to you here is especially good for diaspora, is that we have on this level here um, uh, uh, rooms which can be used like, a, like hotel rooms. So if you own a unit, you can actually sell the unit, uh, you can use, uh, rent the unit, but am I... Okay, I'm running through this. He says I've got all the time I need, but uh, <laughs> I think you guys have got a lot to, you want to talk about as well. Thank you, David. So in here we've got um, the uh, 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 guest rooms, like hotel rooms. So you can buy a unit, rent it, and if you're coming to Nairobi, you can actually stay here, use the, uh, the business center, which is for free. You can use the swimming pool, which is a 21 meter pool. You can use the, uh, the three lounges. There are three lounges that you can use. There's a convenience store. There's a restaurant in the building. So you can actually have everything within the building. So this is, um, and as you can see, it's a, an amazing entrance, a very high class entrance. It, we're doing it to like a five star hotel. So this is all free inside. So this is part of your residential additional space which you don't even pay for. It's all part of the space. So you've got a business a, a center, so there's a whole business center. And as I said, if you're a diaspora, you've, you've bought it, you're renting it, returns are around 15% uh, based on current rentals in the area. So your returns are really good, but you can just come in and use all of this for free and just uh, stay in the, in the, in the uh, room, the guest rooms. This is a two bedroom apartment, comes fully furnished. So all the furniture you see there is included in the price. 
So you don't have to worry about furnishing it or anything. So you get all the furniture included. This is the, uh, the kitchen, everything included. Tables, uh, everything. We have dishwashers, uh, washing machines, all included. So the only thing that was not included, uh, sorry, are the pictures. Sorry, the pictures are not included. So we've even got a nice balcony on every single one. This is the uh, lounge area. So this is like the VIP lounge area um, with an amazing deck with look, looks west so you can see the uh, sunsets. 21 meter pool, heated pool, heated uh, so you can swim all year round. Three bars in the building, so you've got plenty of space to go and uh, meet people and have drinks. And then you've got this terrace, which has got an incredible views out across the whole of Nairobi, and you can watch the sunsets over the Ngong Hills. Um, <clears throat> so that gives you an idea. In terms of uh, rentals, you, we can run through the figures with you, but as I said to you, Based on comparisons, uh, we're showing yields uh, around the 15% 15, 15 mark. Um, the prices go up as you go up the building, so as you go higher, the, the, the floors do get a bit more expensive. Um, those are the basic things. Construction has already started. We're already excavating. Uh, we have all the permits for the building, so all the permits are in place. Um, we've already sold a roughly 20% of the uh, sp the units already. So that just gives you an idea of where we are, the program here. We're using international consultants and Kenyan consultants, so we're using both international and local. So that we're training the, 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 the and I have a, a full Kenyan team as well, so we're using our Kenyan team. MSA is a, a, an architect from Istanbul. It's all the buildings they've designed in, uh, in Turkey. They're very high quality um, architect for high rise building. We're using this uh, Chinese contractor. They're only building the frame. So we haven't chosen the contractor to do the finishes. So this is the, uh, the Chinese contractor that's just building the frame. Got various investments in here, talking through the projects. That's a very quick summary of that. What I would like to do if I, uh, while I'm talking about this, is that one of the things that I have done, my father having been in AIC, um, let me see how I can get out of this. Um, here we go. Um, here we go. Let's move it this way. So, um, I have started a foundation called, uh, happens to be called Jonathan Jackson Foundation. It's not actually showing that you can just see it up at the top there, Jonathan Jackson Foundation. We are working very much in the communities within Nairobi. We're basically a, a custodians for community change. That's what we're really trying to do. What we find is there's a lot of money that wants to come into Nairobi to help uh, the communities in Nairobi, but they find it very hard to trust. One of our biggest problems in Kenya is trust. And uh, this is mainly because of the corruption our corruption is so bad and when politicians and people say corruption is going to kill your country, I always say, well, you know, money is money and we can always replace money and things like that. It's not really going to affect us too badly. It's a shame to lose a bit of money. The biggest problem is it destroys your trust. People stop trusting. And our biggest problem in Kenya is trust. We've lost trust with one another. We've lost trust with our employees. We've lost trust uh, with the government. We've lost trust with the police. Um, we just don't have trust. And this is one of the big things we really need to change in Kenya. So I am very much pushing for this. And what we're trying to do here is to help foreign donors and foreign people who want to help the communities within the slum areas how to actually uh, get projects off the ground. I go into the slums, I walk around in Kibera, I walk around in Kangwari. And uh, I meet the, the kids there, and they all want to be able to start their businesses, do their things, but no one will give them money because no one can trust them. So we're setting up that sort of link between we will make sure that uh, money that's donated will go into the projects. So whether it's a car wash, whether it's a shoe, producing shoes, uh, we're already actively involved in that. I'm doing it with my own money at the moment, so we're starting all the programs with my own cash. We've only just started this about three months ago. We've got, uh, uh, we've got around 30 people now working in the foundation. So we're working pretty well in terms of 
uh, working with the community so that we are a custodian for community change. We're doing sports. How many of you here have heard of Nairobi City Stars? Nairobi City Stars, it's one of the football clubs in Nairobi. It's in the soccer clubs, sorry guys, soccer clubs. Uh, it's in the uh, second division. Uh, I bought it under the jo uh, Jonathan Jackson Foundation. We were at the very bottom of the league. We're now at the top of the league. We've just won all our games. In fact, today we won 6-0. <laughs> so we are using this, and we're now starting uh, basketball in the slums. As you know, basketball is mainly a university uh, game. Uh, we're now actually building basketballs in the communities, giving the basketball courts to the communities. It belongs to them. It doesn't belong to us. We're financing it, and we're teaching the young kids how to play basketball. So we can actually start basketball tournaments within the communities. It's one of the things we're doing. But the biggest thing I want to do is to teach those guys how to work their way out of, the, out of those community slums. So we're trying to do uh, courses. We're starting courses to teach skills. So it's all skill training. So we're looking at different aspects, whether it's construction skill training, whether it's beautification, hairdressing, massaging, both for women and for men, we're developing these courses and working with other NGOs. And one of the things that gives me great hope for Nairobi and for Kenya is that Kenyans love to help Kenyans. And it's a great thing. It really gives me a lot of hope because there's so many Kenyans that come, I walk around in the slums, I meet all of these Kenyan groups trying to help other Kenyan groups. A lot of them need some assistance, they need some advice, some guidance, some extra equity. So we're doing this to really help the Kenyan groups to actually develop. Because I believe Kenyans should be helping Kenyans to make the change and get out of the community, yes. which is what we really want to do. And Nairobi City Stars, um, we're just going to build a two, a two um, football uh, pitches in Nairobi, in Kangwari. One we're giving to the community and one which will be, uh, the foundation will be running. So the community is benefiting from everything we do. So, do follow us, do watch us. When we start trying to raise money for the programs, do, do try and see what you can do to help us. Every penny will be going directly to the projects. All overheads I'm paying for out of my pocket. So your money will not go to overheads. I pay for the overheads. So there'll be individual projects which will be looking for funding and financing. Like kids just want a car wash. They need a few thousand dollars to set up a car wash. You know, something like this. These are the sort of projects which we're going to be giving to individual people. All right? Good. Thank you very much, everyone.